It is Thursday, February 14th, and we welcome you to H.H. Dow High School for girls high school basketball as the Midland High Kimmicks make the trip across town to take on the Dow High Chargers. Alongside Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper, and Tom, tonight we've got the rematch, the second meeting of the season between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. The Charger fans are ready to go, and we're ready to go on what should be a great game. Last time these two teams met just a couple of weeks ago, it was only a four or five point game. Now they're meeting again just two weeks later. Adjustments have been made, which we'll be talking about in a little bit. But overall, we've got two quality programs. Yeah, and both teams are at the top of the Saginaw Valley. Dow High is in position to clinch the title tonight, I believe. And Midland High would like nothing more than, than to slow that train down. Absolutely. The Midland High Kimmicks want to play the role of spoiler against Dow High's undefeated season. Let's find out what's going on with the starting lineups in the anthem. Let's turn things over to our public address announcer, Stan Tyson. We ask you all to please rise. Gentlemen, remove your caps and join Dow High Jr. and the drum right in the singing of our national anthem. Your lady charges are coached by Mr. Bob Wilder. And 
The Chargers under head coach Bob Wellman in the green shirt sitting down. Bob Wellman leading the Dow High Chargers with a 17-0 perfect record entering the final week and a half of the regular season. The Midland High Kimmicks coming into this game at 12-6 on the season. Kimmicks in visiting blue, Chargers in their home white, and we are off and running with this girls' basketball contest. Dow High in control of the ball. Christine Muscle trying to work it inside. Aaron O'Neill scoring the first basket for the Dow High Chargers. Just about 15 seconds into the game, the 6-1 junior coming up with a bucket, and then Heather Durstein with the steal. Can't get the shot to go. The Kimmicks looking to come back the other way. Nobody back on defense, but the Kimmicks travel. Alista Westfall with a stutter step and a turnover on the fast break, and that is one of the things that the Midland High Kimmicks, when we talked to Coach Elaine Mahabia earlier, they need to limit his turnovers, especially the on-force turnovers like we saw a moment ago. Oh, sure, and uh, that Dow High started out uh, like a house of fire. Uh, they got the, the first basket and uh, steal, and then uh, Midland uh, lost a little composure there. Now the Dow High Chargers showing a lot of pressure early on against a Midland High team that has been injury plagued since the Dow High game a couple of weeks ago. In fact, at one time, the Midland High Kimmicks played a game with only six players because of injury. Lily Hami taking a shot from Midland High, no good, but a rebound by Emily Resmer, the junior in great position, and Resmer able to put the bucket back. We are tied about a minute into this contest. Dow High working the ball around the perimeter. Aaron O'Neill working it to Josie Query. Now they go for a three-point shot well off the mark. The ball goes out of bounds, and the Midland High Kimmicks will take the ball. Well, at, at first it looked like Dow was going to try to get the ball into O'Neill because she, at 6-1, she has a definite height advantage. Midland High. Looking to set up a play, Jess Walter, a junior, missed a couple of games due to a rib injury. She is not 100%, but she is on the floor for the Midland High Kimmicks. Walter trying to go inside to Lily Hami, and Hami putting the bucket in. And Tom, you talk about players that are peaking towards the end of the season. Lily Hami having a great February for the Midland High Kimmicks. Three-point shot off the mark. Kimmicks will look to slow things down a little bit. Well, if, if Midland High is going to go very far in the tournaments, Hami and Walter have to do a lot of the scoring. Underneath, Kaylee Wetkamp, the senior, coming up with a great block underneath the Chargers with the steal. A couple of minutes into this game in a wide open lane for Josie Query, the senior, able to get the first bucket of the game for her, Query and her younger sister, Josie and Jenna, a big part of this Dow High team and that Charger defense trapping Midland High. Elaine Mahabier forced to call a 30 second timeout with 5.40 to play here in the opening quarter, all tied up at four to four. And as you take a look at Elaine Mahabier and the Kimmicks, the Dow High Chargers, Tom, bringing a lot of pressure that the Kimmicks are gonna have to figure out a way to break. And I, I think Bob Wellman's been real smart with this. Uh, he's got home court advantage. He's got the, uh, you know, the momentum for the season. Uh, he's got a lot to prove uh, that his team can, can go with the Kemics from start to finish. He doesn't have to come from behind. He wants to really uh, push the envelope here. Now things don't get much better for the Dow High Chargers this year. They're coming into this game 17-0. They have wrapped up the Saginaw Valley North. This is a Dow High Charger team that is definitely having a, uh, a season that will be talked about for years to come. Uh, definitely, and uh, it's truly a team that uh, these girls uh, move the ball around. There really isn't a star. Maybe Josie Query may just recently been kind of rising to the forefront, but uh, they're really a team without a star, so to speak. 
Action resuming after the timeout. Five and a half minutes to play here in the first quarter. We're tied up at four. Jeff Walter working the ball for Midland. Back out to Lily Hami. Three-point shot counted. First three-pointer of the game. Lily Hami able to put it in. She's got a couple of buckets. And then Midland High's Emily Holman coming up with a steal for the Kimmicks. Walter. Passing it inside to Resmer. Resmer able to put the bucket in. The timeout worked wonder for Elaine Mahabier, and now it's Bob Wellman that needs to call the timeout as the Midland High Chemics going on a five-point streak, and the Chargers need to call the timeout. And that was, uh, as it turns out, a well-placed timeout. At first, you wonder, okay, uh, was she a little too quick? Because Midland had broken uh, the pressure on the press, but they called it the timeout anyway, and it really is paying dividends right now. Now the Dow High Chargers started out on fire, but after the timeout, the Midland High Chemics able to, uh, to take over and be on fire. Now we'll see if Bob Wellman's timeout ends up sparking the Dow High Chargers. We're only in the opening minutes of this game, but this has to feel like we're you know, at crunch time. Uh, it, it does, and uh, D Dow's really not, not been very aggressive uh, cutting down passing lanes, and Midland High's been able to get some good shots. Three-point shot taken by Dow High's Christine Muscle is no good. Kimmick's able to come up with the rebound, and now Midland High will work it across. Midland High driving in, knocked away briefly, but recovered by Hami. Now Holman works it back out. Liddy Hami's shot is no good. Battle for the rebound. Kimmicks may have knocked it away from each other, and uh, we're going to have a travel call. Not a popular call on uh, Midland High's side, but again, it'll be the second turnover of the game for the Kimmicks. Well, it was hard to know what she was going to call. I mean, there was an awful lot of pressure on, on Holman. Uh, eventually, she just guessed she shuffled her feet. Dow High on the cut. Too far underneath the basket was Carly McGee. Instead, they work it back out, and Christine Muscle with a big three-pointer. The senior pulling the Chargers within two. We are only four minutes into this fast-paced game. Underneath the Midland High Kimmicks. End up turning the ball over again. That is something that has Coach Mahabir concerned. Well, you know, if you turn the ball over, you don't get a shot at the basket. And uh, uh, with this Dow High team, you need as many uh, quality shot opportunities as you can get. Three-point shot, Christine Muscle left open. Can't get the shot to go. McGee will get the rebound. She goes back up for the shot. That's no good. Jessica Sapansky had the rebound, and the Chargers will look to reset. Now they go inside. Sapansky all by herself, can't get the shot to go. Out of bounds, it's going to be Charger basketball. Well, that was a situation where you're, you're into tough defense. All of a sudden, one girl is absolutely wide open, and she rushes the shot. Uh, the Chargers will turn the ball right back over. 340 to play, and what has been a very intense First quarter, girls varsity basketball here on MPS TV. Midland High, Jessica Walter forcing it to Lily Hami to get across in the first foul of the game at the 331 mark will go against the Dow High Chargers. Well, shall we say the first foul that's been called. <laughs> it, it's been physical already. Absolutely, and Dow High making a couple of changes. Aaron O'Neill checks back in, and the sophomore Maya Piper checks in for the first time for the Chargers. Two-point Midland High lead. Kimmix working the ball. Emily Holman trying to get by the defense of Piper. Being double teamed, Holman forcing up a shot, doesn't go. Rebound by the Chargers, who almost turn it right back over. Everybody on the ground, everybody fighting for it. Chargers are going to come away with it. Josie Query working it out over to Piper. Piper, baseline shot, no good. Shedna Query all by herself, the bucket and the foul. And Emily Holman shrugging her shoulder, saying, I was, a, I was two feet away from her. But nonetheless, the foul called, and the Chargers will have a chance for a three-point play. I don't think the official really knew uh, how, how close Holman was. And you know, there might have been a foul there, but I think he called it. Now, on, that, 
That was called on the anticipation of a foul. I, I totally agree. We are all tied up, nine to nine, three minutes to play here in the first quarter. Jeff Walter working the ball down over to Emily Holman. Holman trying to force it inside. Nice spin move by Walter. She'll get the bucket and the foul. Jess Walter, as we mentioned a little bit earlier, recovering from a rib injury. She missed a couple of games. Apparently the rib injury happened the last time these two teams met, but nobody, including Walter, was aware of it until the adrenaline died down after the game. Well, uh, in talking to uh, Jess earlier this week, uh, she, she knew that she got uh, hit with it, but uh, didn't know to what extent. The Dow High Chargers with the rebound coming down the opposite direction. Emily Lyman with the basketball, forcing it inside to Jenna Query. Query can't get a shot to go. Rebound by Lily Hami. It has definitely been very physical here in this first quarter. Walter with a three-pointer. The shot is short. Rebound still loose, and Dow High can't keep it in. Midland High will end up with the ball. Midland High with a two-point lead, 11-9. to nine. The Chemex leading with 2.20 to play here in the first quarter. Midland High looking to inbound the ball, and they do so. Now Lily Hami with a long two-pointer. No good. Battle for the rebound. A jump ball will be called. Possession arrow in favor of the Chemex. You know, the way this game is going, I'd be very surprised that either team was going to get much more than a six-point advantage at any time. Uh, last time these two teams played, it was a very close game, and now Lily Hame firing up a shot, and a foul is going to be called, I believe, on Jenna Query, the sophomore committing the foul. The officials definitely, definitely letting the players play, and sometimes that can come back to... Uh, to bite you as an official because now you've got to try to regain control of what is a very physical game. Uh, that, that's right. And uh, the players uh, discover what's being allowed. Then when they tighten it up, some people can get into some serious foul trouble very quickly. Lily Hami able to hit both of her free throws. Midland High on top, 13-9. To and Query looking to go coast to coast, ends up drawing the foul. Josie Query wasting no time looking to drive to the basket and Query will end up on the free throw line for the Chargers. I think most people agreed Hami just didn't get position soon enough. Yeah, I think that was a good foul. A, a good call. I think it was, it, was yeah. a, it was definitely a block. I don't think there was yeah. any, any hint of a charge. I would, mm -hmm. I would agree with that one. Both free throws are good for Josie Query, the older of the Query sisters playing basketball on the Dow High team. Two minutes to play, Chargers trapping Midland High. The Chemex had to force the ball off and send it out of bounds so they could regroup. Uh, that, that's really a, a nice strategy. It, it gives you uh, uh, a, a fresh look at the court. Again, the Dow High Chargers with a lot of pressure Jess Walter getting the ball across and working it inside. Alyssa Westfall had no place to go. Kimmicks wanted a foul, did not get the call. Now the Chargers on their transition offense will pull things out. Josie Query from the elbow. Shot bouncing around. Loose ball. Chargers will keep possession. Nice hustle by Macy Doster. Dow looking to regroup. Emily Lyman. Working over to Maya Piper. Piper driving in, banking it off the glass. The sophomore, Maya Piper, able to get the bucket for the Chargers, and we are all tied up 13 to 13. Maya had nice ball rotation on that, too. Uh, very much under control. Substitution coming in. Christine Muscle will check back into the game, and Josie Query will take the first break. Midland High inbounding and again the Chargers trying to trap the Chemex in the corner and a foul is going to be called. The foul will be on Maya Piper which is going to be her first. It's the fourth team foul against the Chargers. 
117 to play here in the first quarter. Kimmix able to get the ball across midcourt. Jeff Walter with a spin move. Works it out to Emily Holman. Holman's three-pointer off the mark. Ball is loose. Lily Hami will come up with it. Hami from the elbow. Get the bucket to go. Hami, the leading scorer in this contest. She's got nine points. Under a minute to play. Maya Piper left open, and she misses the three-pointer. Chargers will make another substitution. Kaylee Wetcamp will come back into the game. Midland High leading by two, 15-13 Kimmicks with 52 seconds to play. Chargers again, Heather Durstein checking in. This is something we saw the last time these two teams played. Bob Wellman very liberal with his substitutions. Midland High, not so much. Dow High knocking the ball away, but the Kimmicks will keep possession. And you know, as, as you go along in the season, uh, a coach wants to continue to play and substitute the way he has all the way along. Well, at 17-0, that strategy has worked pretty good. Jeff Walker trying to beat the pressure, and a reach-in foul will be called against the Chargers. Kaylee Wetcamp called with the foul. So after going almost four minutes without a foul, we have now had seven in the last uh, four minutes of the first quarter. 45 seconds to play. Midland High's Jeff Walter with the ball. Firing it over, looking for Lily Hami. Hami now goes inside. Basket does not go for Alyssa Westfall, but the Kimmicks able to get the rebound back. Walter with a fadeaway shot is no good. Rebound by Emily Holman. Her shot is no good. And the Chargers, Emily Lyman, coming down with the rebound. Lyman, look at how coast to coast runs into a brick wall. And the foul is going to be called on Alyssa Westfall. I think she split the brick wall. Oh, she did. Emily Lyman just came. She was not going to stop, and the foul called. Only the third one against the Midland High Kimmicks. 20 seconds to play. Coming up with a steal, Lily Hami wrestling the ball away. Very aggressive, very physical here in the first quarter. Final seconds winding down. Jeff Walter with the ball for the Kimmicks. Clock down to five. Walter to Lily Hami, open for the three-pointer. Shot is no good. Holman with the put back and counted. Emily Holman with a great rebound and the Midland High Kimmicks with the lead at the end of the first quarter. Fast paced and a very exciting girls basketball here at Dow High. At the end of the first quarter, it's the Midland High Kimmicks 17, the Dow High Chargers 13. Hi, I'm production assistant Billy Bethune from the MCTV Network. Ever wondered how the program you're watching right now is put together or how you can create one of your own? One way is to tune into a training program at MCTV Midland Community Television. The first class has an orientation, tour, and studio session where you learn how to use equipment like this in our studio. The second week you'll come back to learn how to use our digital video cameras as well as our other digital video editing equipment. That way you'll be able to go out and shoot events that are happening around Midland. What he said. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, if you would like to join our growing list of access users and have fun at the same time, call the MCTV network at 837-3474 or visit the City of Midland's website. Or you can stop by the lower level of the Grace A. Dow Library to the MCTV studio to sign up. And we welcome you back to Dow High. Second quarter off and running with the Midland High Chemics on top of the Dow High Chargers. 17 to 13. Chargers turning the ball over on the first possession of the second quarter. And now the Midland High Chemics do the same as they try to go for a, a long pass downfield. And so uh, a couple of turnovers, and it results in the Chargers having the basketball underneath their own basket. So ultimately, nothing has happened. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, just so, two, two turnovers. So we have not missed a thing. Dow High with the ball. 
Midland High ending the first quarter on fire. The Dow High Chargers looking to overcome it. Dow High with the basketball. Kaylee Wetcamp working it over to Josie Query. Now it's Christine Muscle with the ball. Muscle thought about the shot. Now she tries to go inside, and a foul is going to be called. The push from behind if they try to work to Jenna Query. Both Query sisters in the game. And Midland High making a substitution. They will bring Hannah Lasky into the game for the first time. The junior, I don't believe, played the last time these two teams met. Hannah has been one of the many injury played Kimmicks. Wide open underneath Heather Durstein with the bucket, banking it off the glass to make this a two point game. And again, the Chargers aggressive on the defense, forcing the jump ball to be called. Chargers will have possession. Actually, no, it should be Kimmick basketball. The officials yes. making the change. Chargers had it at the start of the quarter, so it is Midland High basketball. Just underway here in the second quarter. Now it's Charger basketball after the steal. Christine Muscle forcing it inside to Josie Query. Now they work it back out. Heather Durstein's shot just a little bit short. Out of bounds, Midland basketball. <laughs> Elaine Mahabier talking to Emily Holman, who's getting ready to come back into the game. Seven minutes to play, and the Chargers with a steal on the inbound pass. Muscle now working it around, back to Josie Query. Query going inside to Durstein, and Heather Durstein banking it off the glass for the Charger bucket, and Elaine Mahabier is going to call a timeout if we are all tied up with 6.52 to play in the second quarter. It's back to 17 all. Well, I, I think what, one thing Lily Hami has to remember is that if you're gonna bounce it off your opponent, you don't do it off their hip, you do it off their shoelaces. And at that point, uh, it was a real quick turnover. But uh, Dow is playing real aggressive on their press and intermittently gives, gives Midland some trouble. And uh, I think it's all a, a series of adjustments. One thing I've noticed that Midland High has been doing is they brought their four and five position players up to half court, which is uh, putting them more in a position to help break the press. Uh, the Midland High Chemics will have the ball after the timeout. All tied up, 17 to 17. Again, the Chargers showing press against the Midland High Chemics. This press has been fairly effective most of the game. Chemics have had a hard time breaking it here in the second quarter. And again, the Chargers double teaming. Midland High able to get free. Lily Hami putting the shot up and count it. That time the press break working the way it's supposed to. Hami continuing to be the leading scorer. Christine Muscle, three pointer is no good. We're gonna have a rebounding foul called against the Chargers. And Emily Holman had great positioning on that rebound. Midland High inbounding the ball. Again, Chargers with the pressure, and this time it forces the turnover. Kimmick's coming up with the steal, and a series of new players coming into the game. The Dow High Chargers will bring Maya Piper into the game. I don't remember Piper uh, having a big game a couple of weeks ago when these two teams met, but Maya Piper coming off the bench adds a little bit for the Dow High Chargers. Three-pointer well, very no well. Good. Go ahead, Tom. I'm sorry, she, she just played very well. Uh, de de doesn't look like a newcomer at all. Two point contest. Second meeting of the season between these two teams. As we wind down the 2012-2013 basketball season, Chargers turning the ball over. Final week of the season in progress and then the districts for the girls will start on February 25th. The districts will be played at Bay City Western, and we will talk about the districts in a little bit as the Midland High Kimmicks work the ball down the court. Emily Holman handing off to Jess Walter. Walter being guarded very closely one-on-one. -on -one. Kimmicks to Lily Hami. Hami no place to go, and the Chargers coming up with a steal, but then they lose the ball. Everybody on the ground, they're gonna call a blocking foul. I believe it's gonna go against the Chargers. 
I think Maya Piper is going to be called for that foul, and she is. It'll be a one and one situation, so the Midland High Chemex will go to the free throw line. I thought uh, Midland would just get the ball out, but uh, there was an undercut maybe, I don't know. Now Jess Walter missing the first half of the one and one. Rebound attempt by the Chargers goes into the hands of the Chemex instead. Westfall tried to force the ball inside, and now we're gonna have a foul called against the Chemex. It is getting very aggressive. The loose balls and the scramble for the ball, very aggressive in this contest. Well, we've had some, uh, shall we say, creative passing, uh, some of which have gone out of bounds. They've really got to, uh, to communicate better. Chargers driving into the basket. Query cannot get the shot to go. Midland will come back the other way. Walter spinning in the paint, loses the basketball, goes out of bounds. There's gonna be a lot of frustration and I, you can see it on the players' faces. A lot of fouls that should be called are not being called. And then the players say, okay, then we can, we can have a battle royal if you're not gonna call it. And then all of a sudden something is called. This yeah. has gotta be very frustrating if you're a player right now. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it is very, it's quite physical right now. It's not a slam someone down physical, but uh, there's a lot of pushing and shoving. Ball goes out of bounds. Chargers are going to keep possession. And, and we have uh, Mason Money is into the ball game, a sophomore for Midland High, number 40. She has entered the game. And also for Dow High, Carly McGee has came back into the game. McGee played very well off the bench a couple of weeks ago for the Chargers. Dow High's Maya Piper working with the basketball. Piper, nice dribbling skills, finds an open lane, and we're going to have a foul called. We're going to have, is that a charge? That was a charge, an offensive foul called against the Chargers. Yep, uh, that, that, that was uh, Alyssa Westfall uh, drew that foul. Just under five minutes to play here in the second quarter, and Dow High coming up with a steal, but can't convert. Durstein missing, rebound missing. Second attempt and finally a foul called underneath. <laughs> yeah, to say it's not rough underneath the basket is a lie. <laughs> there are going to be some bruises on some players when everything yeah. is said and done after tonight. Dow High's Maya Piper on the free throw line. The shot goes through. Midland High is going to bring Abby Frazier into the game. Frazier, just a freshman, brought up a couple of weeks ago to the varsity, and Frazier checking into the game for the first time. And she did quite well when uh, Jessica Walter was was uh, out. So uh, Fra Frazier's got a good uh, uh, a, a good future for the Chemex. One of two from the free throw line was Piper. It's a one point game with 440 to play. Walter being double teamed again. Holman had the ball briefly. Now Walter takes it. Walter with a spin move and she travels. Chargers will bring Emily Lyman back into the game. Another sophomore. This Charger team under Bob Wellman has a great mixture of senior leadership and also some young players that bring that youth experience to the uh, to the Dow High team. And uh, some of these young players have played on teams at the lower levels that have been almost uh, undefeated or they've been undefeated. You so. can, you can uh, use that phrase in the future, youth experience. Yeah. Youth that, and that, experience, that is, yes. that, is a, uh, that is a Harper oxymoron right hey. there. It works for me, it fits this team. The Dow High Chargers, nice pass underneath. Heather Durstein able to get the bucket to fall through. The Chargers have their first lead in a long time. Thanks to the passing underneath. Now Midland wide open, nobody around Mason Money and the Chargers where they burst of speed defensively. Chargers able to come up with the basketball. Dow High driving in again. Durstein will draw the foul. She'll go to the free throw line. Heather Durstein, one of those seniors 
five foot eight, not afraid to take it to the basket and mix it up a little bit when needed. Well, when you're driving into the middle, it takes some guts to stand there in the lane and try to draw the, the foul. And Mason Money being a sophomore, uh, just hasn't had that experience much yet. Durstein missing the first free throw. Second one misses as well. Kimmick's able to come up with the rebound. It remains a one-point game with the Dow High Chargers in the lead. 3.40 to play here in the second quarter. Kimmick's working the ball around to the baseline. Frazier with a baseline shot. Long two-pointer. Abby Frazier, the freshman, coming off the bench and giving the Midland High Kimmick's the lead. Chargers working the ball around. Carly McGee, she's just a sophomore, picks up her dribble, tries to go inside. Holman knocks it away. Now she gives the ball back, but she travels. No doubt about that one. Emily Holman got the ball back, but could not get turned and tried to do the fast break without putting the ball on the ground. <laughs> well, it was just a real small step, but uh, yeah, definitely right in front of the referee. Jo Josie Query fires up the three-pointer, count it. The senior dropping back, getting the three-pointer to fire. Josie Query, who was quiet here in the second quarter, giving the Chargers a two-point lead. Midland with a numbers advantage. Jeff Walter will draw the foul. Are they going to count the basket? They are. Bob Wellman doesn't like it, but Jeff Walter will have a chance for a three-point play. You're kind of wondering where the... Uh, I think Bob Wellman ha has a beef here. I think the foul was on the ground. I would agree, but the official did not, and Jeff Walter completing the three-point yep. play to give the Kimmicks the lead. Back and forth we go. Query with the ball for the Dow High Chargers. Bob Wellman calling a timeout, and Wellman wants a full timeout, but Wellman wants to talk to the referee. Bob Wellman is at midcourt, and Bob Wellman wants to talk to the official. Bob Wellman called that timeout when his only purpose was he wanted to talk things over and the official not, not uh, talking, not, not in a well, talkative mood. And at so, that point, he doesn't have to. I mean, you're right. uh, he, he said enough. He pointed to where the foul occurred. Uh, but, you know, it, uh, you know, as far as continuation, uh, at this level, it's not allowed. It's not to be uh, uh, granted. But uh, yeah, but Bob had a real beef on that, and I, I'd love to see that that play again. You know, I'm sure we'll be able to in a uh, in a week. Watch that, what, what's that, that replay. See uh, the replay. Yeah, see yeah. where it was. And now the officials are talking uh, at the at the table. A lot of discussion going on. I, I don't know if Bob Wellman is questioning the score, if that's what he was upset about, or what. But there is a lot of uh, discussion going on at the scorers table right now. And I'm not sure, Elaine Mahabi are taking advantage of the situation. She's gonna work up some plays, but right now there's a lot of discussion on who, what the score is and if the score is correct or not. So we'll see if anything has been changed on the scoreboard. Right now the scoreboard matches our score. Midland High 24, Dow High 23. And apparently that is, is going to be the way things stay. So. We're going to continue this basketball game. I'm not sure if that's what Bob Wellman was upset about, was the score, if he was still upset about the foul or what. But nonetheless, we're continuing play with 2.51 to play here in the second quarter. A very intense and physical matchup between these two crosstown rivals. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be Charger basketball. Could they have been challenging team fouls? You know, at this point, uh, yeah. it, it, it could have been anything. I, I really don't know. The Dow High Chargers with the basketball. Couple of dribbles by Emily Lyman. Now she works it over to Christine Muscle. Muscle picks up her dribble, goes back to Lyman. Lyman, couple of dribbles at the top of the key as the Chargers will pass the ball over to Christine Muscle. Muscle taking a great pick on the give and go, but she did not see Sapansky cutting to the basket. 
One point game, we're still in the second quarter. Three pointer, bank it in. Emily Lyman, the sophomore, giving the Chargers a two point advantage. And the bank was open. Now the Chargers with their defense and a travel's gonna be called. Jeff Walter trying to break the double team, could not do it, and the Chargers will have the lead and the basketball. See, I think the Chemex are waiting too long uh, as far as the second pass of that, that press break. They're allowing Dow to, uh, uh, to double team. That time they saw Jessica Sapansky, the senior left alone underneath the basket. Sapansky getting the bucket to fall through. The Chargers have a four point lead here in the second quarter. Emily Holman with the ball for Midland High. Holman with a bounce pass inside. Walker having the ball stripped away. Again, a lot of contact, nothing called. On the other end, a lot of contact and nothing called. Going up for the shot, powering her way through. Erin O'Neill using her 6-1 frame. Contact her, no, she'll get the bucket to fall. <laughs> Dow High with a six point lead. Biggest lead the Chargers have had. A minute 15 on the clock. Going inside and Muscle will knock it out of bounds. See, I think right now uh, Dow's doing a better chance of defending passing lanes and it's not giving Midland High enough uh, openings for their uh, outside shooters. Emily Resmer and Lily Hami will check back in for Midland. Kaylee Wetkamp has also checked back into the game. Midland High to inbound underneath. Lily Hami, who's had a little bit of an extended break, back out on the court. Jeff Walter has not had a break. She's playing with a rib injury and she traveled. Well, right now, Midland really seems to be forcing things. They've got to let the game come to them. Christine Muscle working it inside. Ball knocked away on the ground. Hami with possession and sends it off of a charger. So Midland High will have the ball out of bounds. 55 seconds to play. There you see both teams in the bonus. Midland will shoot two if the Chargers commit any foul in the remaining 55 seconds of the half. Jeff Walker fires a three-pointer. No good. Rebound brought down by Resmer. Resmer feeds it back to Walker, and Walker will get the bucket to go. Good rebound, and Jeff Walker on the board with seven points in the contest so far. Three-pointer. Thank it again, Emily Lyman. Second time in quick succession. Lyman banking a three-pointer for the Dow High Chargers. And Dow High coming up with a steal. 20 seconds to play. Lyman feeding it to Muscle. Three-pointer is no good. Rebound on the floor. Muscle getting her own shot. And the putback falls through for Muscle. Charger finishing the second quarter on fire, and we've got another Midland High turnover. Wow, you know, uh, that, that box on the, uh, behind the rim, I, I think that Lyman really thinks that's what you aim at, you know? <laughs> it, it's been working. It has. Nine point lead for the Dow High Chargers. Five seconds to play here in the second quarter. Chargers having to inbound it long to Josie Query. Now they go back to Emily Lyman. Lyman inside to O'Neal, and Dow High will not get a shot. The Chargers with a rare mistake on time management in a very rough, aggressive, and entertaining first half comes to an end. The teams head to a locker room. The Dow High Chargers with their biggest lead of the game here at halftime. Do not go anywhere. We will be coming back with what should be a fantastic second half of girls high school basketball. At halftime, it's the Dow High Chargers 35, the Midland High Chemex 26. And we welcome you back to HH Dow High School. We are at halftime of girls varsity basketball. The Dow High Chargers and their crosstown rival, the Midland High Chemics, in their second meeting in front of a packed crowd here at Dow High. The, the Chargers leading by nine. And let's go back and take a look at some of the action from the first half of this contest, Tom. And 
we get to see just how physical of a first half it was between the Chargers and the Kimmicks. And as we're watching, we're, uh, we're seeing uh, uh, some really good play by the guards for Dow and a nice uh, fall away by Lily Hami. And a great tip by Emily Holman uh, at the end of the first quarter. Well, this is definitely a, uh, a highlight uh, reel that is showcasing the athleticism of these players that we are watching. Take nothing away from the, the talent that we are exhibiting. And the, uh, there's the three-pointer by Query, and then the banking three-pointer of Emily Lyman that we saw not once but twice. Yeah, yeah, she didn't seem surprised, so that must be kind of her shot. Quite possibly could be. And that was a short put back by Aaron O'Neill. A nice drive to the basket there. You're seeing a, a lot of uh, what we saw in the first half of play. There was that second bank by, <laughs> by Lyman. But you see a lot of great plays, and this is a very physical game. It was a very physical mm -hmm. first half, but we're seeing great plays being made on both sides of the basketball. Oh, there are really good athletes on both teams, and they know each other very well. And uh, you know that they, they've seen tape of the first game, and they've made adjustments along the way. And uh, that, Dow High has, has kind of changed their their uh, their full court press pressure and Midland High has done a pretty good job at times uh, breaking the press, but uh, it hasn't been all the time. We're glad you could be with us, Jason Harper, Tom Bell, and an MCTV crew bringing you this contest here between the Dow High Chargers, the Midland High Chemists. There's the Dow High Drumline getting into things here at their home of Charger country. In the first half, Dow High with a nine point lead, but it was Lily Hami that was the leading scorer in the first half for the Midland High Chemics. Hami finishing with 11 in the first half. She's the only player happens to be in double digits in the contest. Jessica Walter happens to be second in scoring with seven. For the Dow High Chargers, they have got all kinds of people in the scoring column. Josie Cleary's got seven points in the first half. Heather Durstein and Emily Lyman with six points each. For the Dow High Chargers, I have uh, eight different Chargers that have scored in the first half. And a lot of those those players scored in the last two and a half minutes of that second quarter, which uh, Dow just exploded and Midland was just playing like everything was forced. Now here we go, third quarter underway. Chargers in the home white, Midland in their visiting blue. The Dow High Chargers with the basketball to begin the third quarter of play. Query dribbling behind her back. Josie now working out to Christine Muscle. Muscle fires a three, no good. Ball is out of bounds and it will be Midland High basketball. Well, we'll see what kind of adjustments that the coaches made. Bob, I think we may have made some minor adjustments. Elaine uh, probably spent some time uh, talking about passing lanes. Well, the Chargers brought a lot of defensive pressure in the first half. We'll see if that continues. The Kimmicks able to break the press as they go down court. Walter with a bounce pass inside. Emily Resmer trying to find something to do with it. She does. She gives it to Lily Hami, who fires a three-pointer right from the top of the key. Lily Hami with the bucket to try to pull the Kimmicks, and now Hami pulls down a rebound. Well, I don't think Bob was uh, uh, happy that the second quarter ended. He had a lot of momentum at that point. Walter with the dribble, getting direction, giving direction. Walter able to go to the line, can't get the foul to go. Now we've got a tie up between Westfall and Durstein in the possession arrow favoring the Midland High Kimmicks. Just underway here in the third quarter. Midland High's Lily Hami driving into the bucket, can't get the shot to go, and the Dow High Chargers' Aaron O'Neill will have the rebound. Christine Muscle working down court. Muscle looking for somebody to throw to, finds Kaylee Wetcamp. Wetcamp, couple of dribbles, now back to Josie Query. Chargers looking to set up a play, working it over to Christine Muscle. Muscle with the basketball. 
Midland's sagging uh, their defense a little bit more right now. They're uh, trying to lull Dow into maybe shooting that long shot. Well, Bob Wellman is going to call a timeout. Saw something that he wants corrected, so he will talk to his players for the 621 to play here in the third quarter. And while Bob Wellman talks to the Dow High Chargers, we will let you know that you can view this broadcast between the Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers on Monday, February 18th through Saturday, February 23rd. Showtime's 12 noon each day, so set your DVR and enjoy this broadcast. And then Sunday, February 24th, showtime at 10 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock in the evening. This game will also be available on the uh, Midland Public Schools website. It will stream in the very near future. So set the DVR, record some great varsity basketball between two teams. And right now, Dow High leading this game by six. This is a contest that uh, last time they played was a four-point game, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, another they, game that has been back and forth. It may have been five, but uh, very close. A foul away from the ball as Lily Hami was trying to get some positioning. Only the first foul of the half. A very physical and aggressive first half. We're seeing more of the players being under control here in the second half. And Jeff Walter coming up with a steal. But Dow High getting it right back. Heather Durstein with the steal for the Chargers. Durstein working it to Query. Query now working it back out to Wetcamp. Wetcamp with a three-pointer count it. Kaylee Wetcamp with her first bucket of the game, and it's a big three-pointer to make the Charger lead nine points. Midland High looking to get across midcourt, and uh, kind of a miscommunication there. Walter was looking for Hami, who wasn't sure that she was the intended target. Another on-force turnover, and the Chargers bring Jenna Query, the sophomore, back into the game. See, that, that last pass was indicative of the first half that there were a lot of lead passes that the receiver just wasn't on the same page. Shot is no good. De good defense there by the Midland High Chemics. The Chargers able to keep possession. Heather Durstein forcing it inside to Muscle, and Muscle will be called for a travel. Bob Wellman is going to bring Carly McGee back into the game for the Dow High Chargers. Well, so far in this quarter, it's just three to three. We saw a lot of fireworks in the first half. We'll probably see more as this game develops. Lily Hami going into the paint. Can't get the friendly roll for the Midland High Chemics. Chargers coming back the other direction. Wet camp working over to Query. Query running into a lot of traffic. Chargers still with the basketball. Kimmick somehow coming up with it. Lily Hami now into the paint, gets the bucket to fall through. That was a great change of direction. Came up with her left hand. Lily Hami with a terrific job. Lily Hami has really emerged as a great player for the Midland High Kimmick. She has 16 tonight, more than half of Midland High's total. Seven point lead for the Dow High Chargers. Query, working the ball, and no place to go. Another turnover for the Chargers. Midland will come back the other direction. Holman with a long two pointer, count it. Emily Holman, her second basket, and we've got another timeout. Bob Wellman calling another timeout. He is down to one, and Bob Wellman again expressing displeasure at some of the calls or no calls in this contest. Yeah, there was an awful lot of contact down there, but uh, it was hard really to tell if anybody was denied a, an opportunity to get the ball up. Sometimes you see a slap or a grab, but uh, it can be busy, but uh, the referees just didn't see anything that they wanted to call. And from this distance, I was waiting for the whistle. It's been a very physical game, which can be you know, one of those games that is just hard to call. You, you know, are you, are you going to blow your whistle continuously at every contact? Are you going to let them play a little bit? I mean, this has been very physical, very aggressive. 
And this is just one of those games that I, I think the officials are going to look back and review the tape at and go, what could we have done differently? Yeah, and uh, th th these girls play so well, they'd like the game to flow. And so uh, they, they just want to play, but they, they don't want to get hurt. Dow High with the ball after the timeout, picking up her dribble and throwing the ball away was Wet Camp. Now Midland High coming back the other direction, and Jessica Walker is going to be called for the charge. Wet Camp doing a great job of getting back, getting into position. Wet Camp takes the charge by Walker. That's only the first foul on Walker. You can tell Walter just isn't right yet. Uh, she doesn't have that quick change of direction with the ball and uh, just uh, like a half a step slow on a lot of things she d has done effortlessly. And she's been battling a, uh, a rib injury and uh, the, the doctor said that the only way for it to heal completely is for her to not do anything physical for a couple of weeks. That's not gonna happen <laughs> for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Carly McGee way off target with her shot and the Midland High Chemics will have the ball. Well, and so, some of you uh, Dow fans may know uh, C Carly's mom as as being, um, oh, I shouldn't have brought up if I didn't ha have the name. I, 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 I'll get back to you on that one. All right, because I have no idea where you're going with it. Walter, three-pointer count it from the top of the key. Chess Walter letting the three-pointer fall, and the Chargers, have, or the Kimmicks, excuse me, have pulled within two. 38-36 is the score. Driving in, and a charge is going to be called against Maya Piper. A couple of subs coming in now for the Dow High Chargers. Okay, can I sheepishly jump in? Act yeah, okay. absolutely. All right, my, my, my apologies. J Jackie Goulet is... Um, um, Car uh, it, Carly McGee. Is Car Car Carly McGee. I can't get both names at the same time. <laughs> oh, no. It was Car Carly McGee's mom, and J Jackie was a star here at Dow High. Query coming up with a steal and a foul underneath the basket will send Josie Query to the free throw line for the Dow High Chargers. 2.52 to play here in the third quarter. What a game between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. Both of these teams preparing for districts, which will be taking place beginning on Monday, February 25th at Bay City Western. The Midland High Kimmicks will play that Monday night against Mount Pleasant. And then the winner of that game will play the Dow High Chargers on February 27th. Districts at Western for the girls this year, coming up in about a week. Midland High's Emily Homan across midcourt to Walter. Walter thought about the three-pointer. Now goes back to Homan, right back to Walter. Driving inside to Lily Hami. Hami has the ball knocked away. Nice job by Emily Lyman, but the Kimmicks recover, and Walter firing a long three-pointer. She's got 13 tonight. Jessica Walker was a long way past the line. And how about answering the call? Christine Muscle coming back and hitting the three-pointer for the Chargers. Muscle now has eight on the game. Four-point Charger lead, two minutes to play here in the third quarter. And we've got a violation, a 10-second call, the first time of the game. And I find it kind of funny that the Chargers drop back on defense and get the 10 second call. That surprised me. I I didn't feel like they were getting real close to the 10, but the referee was keeping track. Chargers with the basketball. Josie Query, couple of dribbles over to Emily Lyman. Lyman firing a three pointer. This one is off the mark. Now the Chargers are either dead on or way off when they fire those three-pointers. <laughs> well, L L Lyman just wasn't cl close enough to hit the backboard on that one. Kimmicks across midcourt this time. Jess Walter working the basketball for Midland High. Walter, couple of dribbles over to Emily Homan. Homan on the far side, muscle playing great defense. Homan forcing it inside and a foul will be called on Query. Reach-in foul called is going to be the 
second foul against Cleary. Chargers making another change. Aaron O'Neill will check back into the game for Dow. 90 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Holman with a nice give to Walker to Hami. Lily Hami, three-pointer, no good. Ball out of bounds, and it's going to remain Kimmick basketball. Well, it looks like their uh, middle and high is uh, giving a little bit more of the ball handling responsibility to Emily Holman, allowing uh, Jess Walter to go down underneath the basket. Walter with the basketball right now. Christine Muscle, a lot of contact, but she comes up with the steal. Muscle with the ball, wide open. Emily Lyman, no good on the three-pointer. And the rebound out of bounds will be Kimmick basketball. A minute to play here in the third quarter. Carly McGee is going to check back into the game for the Chargers. And I think that uh, Jessica Walter is signaling a lane uh, possibly for a sub. Possi I no. wasn't well, sure what the signal was. Walter is in phenomenal shape, but she has not left the game. Long three-pointer is no good. Rebound pulled down by Aaron O'Neill. It is. It takes a lot of stamina to play basketball 100%. When you're battling a rib injury, it's even harder to catch your breath. It's amazing that Walter has played so long in this game. Yeah, uh, you, you would think about f five minutes at a time and uh, give her a rest. Great rebound by O'Neal. Second attempt and finally O'Neal will be fouled. Aaron O'Neal could not get the bucket to go, but she's definitely padding her rebound stats a little bit <laughs> with a, a couple of opportunities. Well, it, it's not like she did it on purpose. Uh, she's being defended uh, uh, very aggressively under there. Erin O'Neill will go to the free throw line and she sinks the first free throw. By uh, the way, that foul called on Emily Resmer is her third. I have Erin O'Neill with five right now for the evening. And it will stay that way, but a rebound by Josie Query, who was able to get the put back to go through. Query with a great offensive rebound for the Chargers. 15 seconds to play. Walter trying to fire her way out of the corner, and Elaine Mahabi are calling a timeout on the other side with 13 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Only the second timeout. Actually, this is the third timeout, and it's got to be a full for... Elaine Mahabir, 13 seconds to play here in the third quarter. High school basketball on MPS TV. Jason Harper, Tom Bell, and a whole crew of MCTV volunteers. This game being taped on Valentine's Day, so not only uh, is it the normal time away from the family, Tom, but uh, our volunteers are spending Valentine's Day away from their family. And in a couple of seconds at the end of the quarter, we are going to let you know how you can become an MCTV volunteer. You can join the crew, you can work on your own programs, you get to hang out with uh, Billy, Matt, Ron, and the entire MCTV crew. It's all kinds of fun, and we will tell you how you get to, how you get involved coming up at the end of the quarter. There's the information on your screen right now. March 9th is the next orientation date, 10 o'clock in the morning, 837-3474 is the telephone number. Midland High inbounding after the timeout. Walter across to Lily Hami. Now to Emily Refmer, works it back out to Walter. Three-pointer is no good. Rebound brought down by the Chargers in our third quarter comes to an end. Eight more minutes of a great high school basketball game yet to come. At the end of the third quarter, it's the Dow High Chargers 46, the Midland High Chemex 39. We are back at Dow High. Chargers inbounding the ball as we begin the fourth quarter. Chargers with a lead, 46 to 39. And the Chargers going inside your O'Neal. Can't get the shot to go. Rebound is no good as well, but Chargers able to keep possession of the basketball. High school basketball here on MPS TV. Great game. It's been back and forth. Chargers have had the lead for the entire second half. 
Kimmicks at one time had pulled within two. Dow High with the ball, three-pointer by Christine Muscle. Shot is no good, Kimmicks with the rebound. Well, in looking at just the third quarter, uh, Mid Midland High outscored Dow a 13 to 11. Good, strong rebound, but Josie Query takes it right back away. Query looking to go coast to coast. The bucket and the foul. Josie Query, after getting the ball after the steal, was not going to be denied. Goes the distance, draws the foul. Query has a chance for a three-point play. And we're looking over at Jessica Walter. Uh, that, that's tough, trying to draw the charge uh, when she's uh, so uh, tender uh, in, in the rib area. Jump ball is going to be called. It'll be Midland High basketball. You talk about a, a drive. You talk about a will to win. Both of these teams playing 100% in this contest. Dow High, 17-0 on the season. They're looking to remain perfect, obviously, with three games left on their schedule. They have got that undefeated goal in their sights. The Midland High Kimmicks at 12-6 looking to spoil their crosstown rivals, but right now it's Dow High with the nine-point advantage early here in the fourth quarter. Jess Walter with the basketball for Midland. The Kimmicks are going to set up the play. Walter picking up her dribble, gives it to Hami. Back to Walter, just inside the free throw line. Walter getting the bucket to fall through. And that gives Walter 15 for the night. Hami with 16. Aaron O'Neill over to Carly McGee. McGee works it back to Josie Query. Query from the elbow, no good. O'Neill with a great rebound. Wide open is Muscle, count it. Christine Muscle all by herself. And Muscle able to hit the three-pointer. She's got 11 on the night. It is a 10-point lead. First time either team has had a double-digit advantage. O'Neal knocking the ball away. Aaron O'Neal playing very strong here in the second half. Well, and at 6-1, she used some of her reach, too, to interfere with a pass that was heading uh, to Emily Resmer. Kaylee Wetkamp will check back into the game for the Dow High Chargers. Midland High inbounds the ball and we're gonna have a jump ball call. This time it's Dow High with the possession. A quick reset with six minutes to play. Possession arrow now in favor of Midland. The Kimmicks have two timeouts remaining. The Chargers have one timeout. Right now, neither team in serious foul trouble. Chargers have committed only two fouls. Midland has committed five, but that's not really an issue for either team. I believe only one player, that's Resmer, is in foul trouble. Josie Query, the steal, and she gets fouled hard from behind. Query will go back to the free throw line for the Chargers. Well, we, we had a nice steal by Emily Holman, and then uh, Query uh, tips it away and goes down, and uh, Emily makes her pay. <laughs> she's not going to get an easy one. She's got to get there two from the line. And now Holman has got three fouls. So now a couple players in some foul trouble, but nobody in serious foul trouble. Query has 14. Is this 15? It is. Josie Query hitting both free throws. 12 point Charger lead. Kimmick, Lily Hami with a three on one advantage, feeds it underneath to Emily Resmer, and the junior able to put the bucket in. Six points on the night for Resmer. Emily Lyman working the ball right now for the Dow High Chargers, crossing it over to Query. Josie Query back to Lyman. Lyman over to Kaylee Wetcamp. Wetcamp with the ball for Dow High, looking to switch things over. Wetcamp now drives in. Dow High may be stalling a little bit. They've got a 10-point a lead, not in as much of a hurry to score the bucket. They go underneath. Now they work it back out. Wetcamp with a three-pointer, no good. Walter getting the rebound for Midland. 4.45 to play. Walter fires a three-pointer, no good. 
Chargers coming back the other direction. Emily Lyman all by herself decides not to take the three-pointer. Goes inside. Shot taken there by Jenna Query. And now we've got a jump ball call to go to Midland High. A couple of subs coming in for the Chargers. Jessica Sapansky checks back into the game. And Midland High bringing in a substitution as well. Mason Money, the sophomore, comes back in. You know, somewhat quietly, but I've been impressed with Emily Holman and Emily Resmer. Uh, they've, they've played really solidly. Haven't scored a lot, but they've played solidly defensively. Lily Hami in the paint. Battle for the rebound on the ground, and we're going to have a travel called against the Dow High Chargers. Interesting. <laughs> 4 13 to play, 10 point game. Jess Walker, three pointer, no good. Battle for the rebound, out of bounds. The officials are going to talk about it. It's going to remain Midland basketball. I think that is one of the calls that is the hardest to make for officials is when both players are battling for the basketball, who has the ball out of bounds, you know, who last touched it, that can be a very tough call to make for the officials. Well, and, and those can occur uh, out of the correct positioning of the referee. And, you know, they're, they're always put where they can see the most, but some of those deflections out of bounds can be anywhere, and they don't get a good angle on it. One and one situation, Christine Muscle on the free throw line for the Chargers getting the shot to go. The last foul for Midland was on Lily Hami, who now has three fouls. So three different Kimmick players with three fouls each. Second half of the one and one is no good, but how about that? A steal coming up, Heather Durstein getting the steal for the Chargers. 11 point down lead with just under four minutes to play in this contest. It's amazing how, how effective a deflected pass can be in a ball game like this. Christine Muscle working over to Kaylee Wetcamp. Wetcamp losing the dribble. Midland High will have the basketball. That was real good defense by Jessica Walter. Uh, disrupted Wetcamp's dribble and then uh, went off her foot. Walter with the basketball for Midland. Getting the ball back. Walter driving baseline, fires the shot up, the bucket and the foul. Walter with a chance for a three-point play. Walter with a nice drive. She is just a junior, is Jessica Walter. And she's also a Hoosier. She's heading to the University of Indiana. Uh, after next year. And Walter completes the three-point play for Midland High. Three and a half minutes to play, 54-46. Dow High with the basketball. Walter has 18 tonight. And almost came up with a steal. Josie Query working the ball back to Christine Muscle. Muscle over to Kaylee Wetcamp. Wetcamp taking a couple of dribbles. Crosses back to the top of the key. Now back out to Christine Muscle. The Chargers very happy to run time off the clock. Under three minutes to play in the game. Query taking the block. Drives into the elbow. Query can't get the shot to go. Rebound by Lily Hame. And we're going to have a reach in foul called against Muscle. The Chargers are trying to double team, but Muscle making a little bit too much contact. Well, they either call the foul or they call a traveling on Hami, and they can't call the traveling. Too, too much contact. Lily Hami bringing the ball across for the Kimmicks. Now to Walter. Walter. Driving the baseline, she's being double teamed. That leaves 
somebody wide open, but the shot does not go for Alyssa Westfall. Now the ball on the ground. Emily Holman had it briefly, and a jump ball is going to be called. Possession arrow belonging to the Chargers. Looks like Jessica Walters uh, having to work out a cramp in her leg. She's been uh, working on her toes and uh, her calf a little bit. Ribs, calf. Boy, but she's got 18 tonight. She's a warrior. Inside, no good for Heather Durstein. Midland will come back the other way. Numbers advantage. Walter will take it herself, count the bucket. Jessica Walter with a gutsy performance to 20. say the least. 20 points. Thinking about the three-pointer, now the Chargers decide against it. The Chargers have not put this game away by any means. A minute 40 to go, the clock becoming an ally of the Dow High Chargers. Dow High is in the bonus, so they will go to the free throw line if the Kimmicks decide to foul, and how about that? A jump ball will be called. Jessica Walter with great defense, forcing the jump ball, possession to Midland. And Elaine Mahabier will call a timeout for the Midland High Kimmicks with 91 seconds to play in this contest. Well, you just hope that the, uh, the way the officials have been calling this game really doesn't change a lot in the last uh, minute and 31 seconds. It would be a shame for uh, the officials to really tighten it up and really confuse the players. I don't think that's going to happen. They, um, uh, this has been a great game. I mean, it's been close uh, from start to finish. A little bit there uh, right before halftime. Uh, the game got kind of out of the way of our heading the Dow High way. But, uh, hey, we got a ball game. If you're just tuning in and you want to watch this game in its entirety, Air times will be Monday, February 18th through Saturday, February 23rd at 12 noon, and then Sunday, February 24th at 10 a.m. and 11 p.m. There will be future dates and times. Check the Midland Public Schools website, and also this game will be streaming on the MPS website in the near future as well. Six-point game, 91 seconds on the clock. Each team has one timeout. The possession arrow is now in favor of the Dow High Chargers. And we have, we have got a whistle, and they're going to have Midland inbound the ball again. The whistle was because the possession arrow had not been changed, but you just took six seconds off the clock because the possession arrow hasn't been changed. That is horrible. No, they've, they've got to add six seconds. You, because the possession arrow, and Elaine Mahabier is irate, and she has a right to be. There is no reason to stop play just because a possession arrow is, isn't changed. You can correct that if you have another jump ball. That is six seconds lost off the clock. That's horrible. That's not correct. I think they have to reset it to uh, uh, 131. Midland High with the basketball, and Walter loses it out of bounds. A costly turnover there for the Midland High Kimmicks. Emily Lyman checking back into the game for the Dow High Chargers to add some three-point range. And now we're seeing some full-court press pressure by the Kimmicks. Inbound pass, and do you foul? You do. It will send... Josie Query to the free throw line for the Dow High Chargers. Is that two on Walter or three? I believe it's three, and it it's is. Three. So now four Midland High players with three fouls each with 68 seconds to play. That really doesn't make much of a difference. It's not really foul trouble. Uh... And Josie Query missing the one and one. Lily Hami with the rebound. It's only a six point game. 60 seconds to go. Walter with the basketball for Midland. Walter dribbling behind her back. Now she fires quickly over to Westwall. Back to Walter. Three-pointer too hard. Rebound brought down by Jenna Query. And again, the Kimmicks have to foul. It looked like Holman had her hand on the ball. But uh, I think in the nature of the moment, the officials are anticipating a foul. This time it'll be Jenna Query 
that goes to the free throw line for the Dow High Chargers. Still a one and one, although the next Midland foul will result in the double bonus. Query struggling in the final second from the free throw line. Midland High coming back with the basketball, still only a six point deficit. Emily Holman trying to drive in, has the ball knocked away. Chargers defense has been phenomenal, forcing the turnovers late in this contest. Dow High working to Jenna Query, who fires back to Christine Muscle. 30 seconds to play, Chargers sensing the victory. Muscle with the ball, working to the corner to Josie Query, now back out to Maya Piper. Chargers doing a great job working the basketball around, and we've got a foul called away from the ball. Emily Holman picking up the foul. That is going to be her fifth. So Emily Holman fouls out of the game with 17 seconds to play. Well, uh, the official had, her, had their choice, uh, Holman or Westfall. They both were fouling basically at the same time. So Abby Frazier will check back into the game. It's also a double bonus for Maya Piper, who is on the free throw line for the Chargers. Piper able to get the first free throw to fall. 55 to 48. Chargers are 17 seconds away from picking up their 18th win of the year. Both free throws are good for Piper. Final seconds ticking down as the Midland High Chemex work the ball to Lily Hami. Three pointer fired, count it. Hami hitting the three-pointer, but it's not going to be enough as the final seconds coming off the clock, and they're, they're going to call a foul with two seconds left. Well, I think she got pushed out of bounds. I think the, they kind of have to call that one. So as a result, the Dow High Chargers will go to the free-throw line. Lily Hami picking up her fourth foul. And that was Hami's first points of the fourth quarter. Maya Piper on the free throw line, count it. Maya Piper, who did not play the last time these two teams met, having a very good game for the Dow High Chargers coming off the bench. And she drills four free throws in the final 20 seconds to seal the deal for the Dow High Chargers. It is now official, the horn sounds, and the Dow High Chargers are 18-0 and are two games away from having an undefeated season. Just a week left to play before District, and the Dow High Chargers now 18-0 and after a tremendous victory over the Midland High Chemics, who fall to 12-7. and on the season. Leading score in the game with Jessica Walker, who finishes with 20 points for Midland. Lily Hami behind her with 19. Leading score for the Dow High Chargers, Josie Query. She finished with 15. Christine Muscle finishing with 12. A great team effort by the Dow High Chargers, who are now a perfect 18-0 and ranked number five in the state. The Dow High Chargers picking up a win here at their home court. For our entire MCTV crew and for my broadcast partner, Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper. The final score, the Dow High Chargers 58, the Midland High Chemics 51. Good night, everyone.